slime that I've seen all over Instagram and I've always wanted to make so I'm super excited about today's video. I'm always on Instagram scrolling through different slime accounts they are just like the most incredible thing ever and yeah you guys know how much I love slime so those are just like my thing right now and I'm so excited to show you guys the slime that we're gonna be making today it was all really really fun really really easy and quick to make and if you're bored and looking for something to do you should definitely try out these slimes now if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian and I am so so happy that you found my channel and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed then just go Go ahead and click that subscribe button and then whenever I upload a new video you'll be able to see it. Okay guys so I have a little surprise and I'm super excited about it and I know you guys are gonna love it. So because you guys are all so incredible and I love you so much I thought it would be heaps of fun to do a giveaway. So this is just a random little giveaway I felt like doing. I just picked up some things that I thought you guys would love. So quickly jumping into the giveaway prize I will be giving away all of this to one lucky person and this giveaway is open internationally so no matter where you live in the world you can enter. So first is a blue Polaroid camera which totally matches my jumper right now and I know how much you guys love Polaroid cameras so of course I had to include one and then to go along with the Polaroid camera you of course need some film so I picked up two really cute ones I then picked up two little makeup kits and I love that these come with so many different products to try out so then I saved the best to last and I love these so much they're so beautiful and I really want a pair myself and it is the friends Layla headphones so I picked up these really awesome headphones I've seen these everywhere and they just look so cool I love the white and the rose gold together and I just thought you guys would really love these so if you guys want to enter, it is super simple. All you have to do is go down to the description box and I will say something like to enter the giveaway, click here and then just click that link and then I'll take you to a website where you can enter the giveaway. So just follow the steps and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. Like I said, it is international and if you are under 18, please ask your parent or guardian's permission before you enter. I know this giveaway was super random, but I just thought it would be so much fun to do a giveaway. I haven't done one in a while on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm super excited for the giveaway. I hope you guys like the prize that I picked out I think it's all super cute and awesome so I think we should totally jump into making some super popular Instagram slimes I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started so the first slime we will be making today is cake batter slime and I'm so excited about this slime I've been wanting to make it for ages because well I love cake batter so the first thing you're going to need is one cup of PBA glue and then just go ahead and add this to a bowl but I still hear you screaming then to this, take one cup of shaving foam and this is going to make it nice and fluffy. Then add the shaving foam to the bowl and mix this into the glue. Now you guys know how much I love my fluffy slime, so to make it even fluffier, take half a cup of foaming hand soap and then add this to the glue mixture as well. And this is just going to make our slime a lot more fluffy. Then take some yellow food dye and add this to the glue mixture and this is going to give us that perfect cake batter colour. Now because we need our cake batter to smell absolutely amazing, take some vanilla essence and add this to the glue mixture and this is going to give it that amazing vanilla cake scent and oh my gosh, does anyone else love the way vanilla smells? It's seriously one of my favourite scents. And then you will need one teaspoon of baking soda, so just add this to the glue mixture and then mix it all in. Now it's time to make our glue mixture into slime and to do that today we will be using contact solution. So just add a little bit of contact solution at a time and mix it in and then you should see your slime start to form. Now you want to make sure that you only add a little bit of contact solution at a time because you don't want to add too much otherwise it will make the slime too rubbery and it won't be fun to play with. So just add a little bit at a time. So then you can just take it out of the bowl and start working it with your hands and now you should have this awesome vanilla scented fluffy slime. And find 
Now to make this slime look totally Instagrammable, I just took a small plastic container and put some of the yellow slime inside. And then you'll need these little foam colourful beads and I found these on eBay and just sprinkle these on top of the slime. So this is what your slime should be looking like and the foam beads make it look like a funfetti cake batter slime which is so much fun. You guys know how I love anything that's colourful so I love this slime and the fact that it smells like straight up vanilla is just amazing. Bring it up, bring it up, prove me wrong. This is definitely one of my favourite slimes I've ever made. I love the texture of it and the way it smells and it's just so easy to make. So now moving on to another super amazing slime. This is cookie dough slime and oh my gosh, I love slime that looks like food. It is seriously my favorite type of slime to make. So the first thing you will need is a bowl and then again you will need one cup of PVA glue. So just add this to the bowl. And then taking one cup of shaving foam, just add this to the glue mixture and mix it in. And I love this step because it always looks like whipped cream. Now we will need some brown food coloring to give it that perfect cookie dough color. So just add a little bit at a time and then mix it in until you get a color that you're happy with. Now here I'm using a chocolate flavoring because I wanted them to be like a chocolate chip cookie. So I just add a little bit of this and oh my gosh, this chocolate flavoring smelled so good. And then you will again need to add one teaspoon of baking soda and mix it in. And now it's time for the fun part, which is to make this into slime. So taking some contact solution, following the same steps, just add a little bit at a time and mix it together. And then once you're happy with how your slime is looking, just go ahead and take a little bit of model magic. And this is just a really soft dough. And I love adding this to slime because it just completely changes the consistency. So the reason I wanted to add it today was because I wanted the slime to be more of a dough texture because we're making cookie dough slime. So just mix in the dough until it's fully mixed in. So now you should have this really awesome cookie dough inspired slime, but what would cookie dough be without chocolate chips? So to make the chocolate chips, just take some brown oven baked clay and just start cutting off little pieces and then just continue to do this until you have enough chocolate chips and then you can just go ahead and follow the instructions on your clay as to how to heat them in the oven. But then once you finish, you should have these super awesome chocolate chips. And then all you have to do is add this to the slime and this seriously looks so awesome. I'm so obsessed with the slime, the texture of it, the way it smells, just everything is perfect. Now for my absolute favorite slime in this video, which is this hot chocolate inspired slime. And I've been wanting to make this for so long. I just always liked the way it looked and it just looked like so much fun. So the first thing we are going to be making is the mini marshmallows that are going to go into the hot chocolate. So taking some white oven baked clay, just begin rolling it out with your hands until you have a long skinny <laughs> shape. And then just go ahead and start cutting little pieces off and we're going to mold these later to look more like marshmallows. But for now, just go ahead and cut little pieces off like I'm doing here. So then just using your fingers, take the little pieces of clay that you just cut up and start molding it to look more like mini marshmallows. So just soften out the edges. And I love how these turn out. They totally look like mini marshmallows. So then just place these onto a lined baking tray and then follow the instructions on your oven bake clay as to how to heat them in the oven. 
And then once they're cooled, you should have these really awesome mini marshmallows. So just go ahead and set these aside for now because it's time to move on to the slime. So to a bowl, add one cup of PVA glue. Then taking some brown food coloring, add this to the glue mixture and mix it in until you get that perfect hot chocolate color. Now to give our hot chocolate slime that amazing chocolate scent, go ahead and take some chocolate flavor and add this to the glue mixture and mix it in. And this smells so good. It was making me want an actual hot chocolate. So then add one teaspoon of a baking soda and mix this in. And then taking some contact solution, add a little amount at a time and mix it in until you get the perfect slime consistency. Now you should have this amazing hot chocolate inspired slime and this smells so good and then to make it look like a proper hot chocolate I just took a mug and placed some of the slime in the mug and then sprinkled some of the clay mini marshmallows on top but if you want to take it to the next level I'm going to show you how you can make it look even more awesome. So we're first going to be making some clay sprinkles so just taking some oven baked clay in a bunch of different colors I just started by rolling it out super thin so that we would get the perfect sprinkle size. So once you've rolled it out super thin, just start cutting off tiny little pieces and these are going to be our sprinkles and then you just want to repeat this for each colour of the sprinkles that you like. So here I'm doing blue and then here I'm making some green sprinkles and you can do as many different colours as you like. So then just place your sprinkles onto a tray and again follow the instructions on your oven baked clay but these do not take long at all because they are so tiny so make sure you keep a close eye on them in the oven. So now our sprinkles are done it is time to make a whipped cream inspired slime which is going to go on top of our hot chocolate. So we're just going to be making a really basic fluffy slime so just add one cup of glue and one cup of shaving foam to a bowl and mix it together then adding a one teaspoon of baking soda and mixing this in as well and then of course taking some contact solution to make it into a slime so like i said this is just a super basic fluffy slime recipe but it still turns out amazing and looks totally like whipped cream Now you have this awesome whipped cream looking slime, it is time to take our hot chocolate to the next level. So just taking a glass, add the hot chocolate slime and then add some mini marshmallows. Next take some of that white fluffy slime we just made and place it on top for the whipped cream. And then of course take your super awesome clay sprinkles and sprinkle these on top. And now you have the most amazing looking hot chocolate slime ever, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite slime ever. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with those slimes. Let me know in the comments below which slime was your favorite. I definitely like the hot chocolate slime and I love the sprinkles on top. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be awesome if you let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Focus, breaking up from our life as we know it.